I'm thirsty. Tea is fine, but why not try something to truly cleanse your soul? Rishi Tea and Botanicals presents Chaga Chai, Organic Chai Concentrate, an earthy mixture of Chaga Mushroom, Roasted Dandelion Root, and Cocoa Nibs, once mixed with equal parts milk and heated, will soothe and relax like few other beverages. It's a taste that can only result from the unity of the North American Wilderness, the Pacific Northwest, and the Democratic Republic of Congo. Sip and enjoy the harmony! was a transport. That thing in the garage was a transport that could have taken us all back to the living world. Ooh, shut up! How was I to know? No squinkies. My mind was open in there this time, absorbing. Amidst tons more questions hurled at my face, I did, hidden in a world of mire and rust, find a few answers. I ran into the other me, and he mentioned something about at least one other invention being hidden away here. Other secret project. Secret project. I looked into the eyes of the monster again. It was the year 2009. This creature foretold my demise in the mortal plane and sent me here to meet his eye once more. Does it mean that I'm to experience one more end? Perhaps the final end? Three photos. Two. Figures from my past, each a harbinger of doom. The third, a figure unknown, spawned at the point most etched in my brain. Much of what I heard in there was spoken in riddles, words tough to decipher. But I think I figured one of those riddles out. Hey, you're all lusts. I'm all the old last three lips with I'm not at liberty to say. But if I'm right, something is going to happen. Something that puts all of this at risk. And I know now exactly when it will happen. I will do whatever it is in my power to make sure you guys are fine. I'm almost positive this only concerns me and the show. I and I alone am reserved to this fate. And I'm sure I'll find out more as the day approaches. Anyway, we have a show to do. Ugh, okay, let's just get this over with. Got a job to do, right? What the hell am I even looking at? You know, 
Before I begin this episode, I should probably apologize to you, the viewers out here who have stuck with me, because I can already tell that I'm not going to have the energy to turn this into something. This episode is going to be a major dud. Just think of everything that I had to go through for the past two episodes. I lived how many lifetimes trying to scratch and crawl my way back here? And just think I'm thrust right back into another episode of Limbo Grub. I haven't had a chance to take a nap. I haven't had a chance to sit down and rest. I haven't even had a drink since I aged hundreds and hundreds of years trying to get here. You know what, but I guess even the best episodes are, are prone to that one major stinker. I mean, kind of reminds me of that one episode of Doctor Who with the Absorbaloff. Yeah, that was a major P.O.S. I, I don't care if a fan won a contest to create a character. That thing was just, it was, it, it hurt to look at that thing. I think it would fit in really well with the Doctor Who of today. Oh, look at me, ungrateful DJ Clive, complaining that he hasn't had a drink in hundreds of years, and there's a drink sitting here right in front of me. What is it? Rishi Tea and Botanicals. Chaga Chai, Organic Chai Concentrate, Chaga Mushroom Dandelion Root, and Cocoa Nib Tea. Is that anyone's first choice? Chaga Chai is a remarkable brew that bends wild crafted Chaga Mushrooms. Mushrooms. Mushroom juice. Mushroom juice. Mushroom juice. Mushroom juice. With roasted dandelion root, chicory, and adaptogenic astragalus root. A touch of cocoa nibs and a hint of sweetness bring this grounding yet decadent treat to life. I feel as if I'm not dirty enough to be drinking this. I feel as if in order to drink this, you gotta be sitting crisscross applesauce on a dirt floor in the middle of your like paper or papyrus house with dirty bare feet and no shirt on. Maybe you're wearing a grass skirt or, or the clothes that you made yourself. And maybe you haven't washed your hair in days to the point where it's like getting all hard and brittle. Maybe you can form it into like some dreadlocks or something. Have a little dandelion put behind your ear. When I drink this, is a third eye gonna appear in the middle of my head? Is this what Matt Seidel drinks, huh? Ingredients, filtered water, organic cane sugar, organic chicory root, organic chaga mushrooms. Mushrooms? Mushrooms. I'm sorry, I can't go on reading these ingredients because something in my mind is telling me to stop right there. Yeah, I know there's some kind of cool factor into drinking this hippie kind of drink that's not only just fortified with vitamins, minerals, and electrolytes, you know, stuff that's been proven to do your body good, but also like with chakras and all sorts of positive energy within it to, to make you like spiritually healed. But the thing that I keep going back to is I read the descriptions, I read the ingredients, and I keep seeing mushroom juice. But you know, I've had chai flavored things in my lifetime. I've had chai infused beverages and the like. What the heck is chai? Will I be able to accurately grade this thing if I don't know what chai is? Perhaps I should do the research? I don't feel like doing research right now. Can you do the research for me? I'm waiting. Wait a minute. How would that even work? Alright, fine. I'll do it myself. Okay, I got it. It was easy. Just a quick Wikipedia entry. Chai, Japanese, are fictional life forms in the Sonic the Hedgehog video game series published by Sega. They are small, childlike creatures that go through a complex life cycle and exist in several visual forms depending on how they are raised? That doesn't sound at all like what I'm about to drink today. Oh, pff, stupid me. I, I got it wrong. Can you blame me? I'm freaking half asleep! I said half. More like nine tenths asleep! Okay, I definitely have it right this time. Chai! A shed for storing casks common in Bordeaux. Now I have to go on Wikipedia to look up what the hell a cask is! Actually, I still don't think this is right. This is the only thing I could find. Chai, a word for tea in numerous languages, derived from Chinese cha.
also, I saw something about masala chai, a blend of black tea and herbs and spices originating in India. So it's just a fancy way of saying something that's not fancy at all. If you want to school me on chai, then so be it. There's a comment section down below. Please do! I take pride in that I'm a mouth-breathing Neanderthal, and I think it's fun that I'm the layperson and you are watching the show to teach me and not the other way around. But I can't shake it. This is just another one of those products that's just gonna use all these buzzwords to make themselves look hip and trendy and unique, when in reality, it's nothing spectacular at all. Just think about it for a second. If you were alive pre, I'd even go as little as 2010. Do you remember ever seeing kombucha anywhere? Nor have I. Now it has its own section, its own aisle at Target. Before recently, have you ever heard about chai or horchata or ricky chia seeds? For God's sakes, people weren't talking about gluten and GMO until recently. What's gonna happen in another 50 years? Are we gonna get that specific? Are we gonna start separating types of food because their molecular structure is slightly different? Oh, here's a delicious don't dick of a bomb, but this one has slightly more carbon dioxide, so it's considered a blastered foot nodule. <sighs> I'm sorry I've been through ordeals. You know, a few times I've had these beverages that you don't have to refrigerate right away and then you open them and all of a sudden you have to refrigerate. What's up with that, huh? I guess it's like vacuum sealed and sterile. And then when you pop the top, all of a sudden the outside air like gets in and corrupts it or some shit. I don't know. I mean, here I was like all through my scholastic life just learning history and physics and, and chemistry. This is the science I want to know about! And it could go either way. You remember that Vegemo stuff was kind of like that. It was just sitting moth-eaten on a shelf somewhere and unrefrigerated. It wasn't until you popped the cap the first time that you had to refrigerate it. But then again, Capri Suns are like that too and they're quite tasty, so I have no idea if I should dread this going in or not. And you know what? I just realized something. I just discovered something right here on the spot, right here in front of y'all! I can't just pop the top and enjoy this note. This is gonna end up being another process like so many other things that I reviewed on this show. I'm gonna have to go over to the kitchen, I'm gonna have to try to get pots, I'm gonna have to try to find milk and mix this with it because this is just a smaller ingredient of a larger dish. And they weren't very clear with that on the packaging, so I'm gonna have to knock some points off of that. I'm, I'm sorry about that. I mean, maybe I'm being unfair. I don't know. But, I mean, they said there's instructions on the side here. What do you think this, this looks like, huh? I mean, this is all that I have to go with. It looks like I have to add slightly more chaga chai juice to the milk that I have to add with this. But there's no, you know, there's no exactness to it. There's no measurements. There's no... There's nothing going into it. It's just all up to me. The ball is at my court to create this properly. It's a lot of pressure. And you know I don't drink milk. I'm lactose intolerant. I can't touch this stuff. What are the chances there's actually going to be a stray carton of milk in my fridge? To be honest, it sometimes happens. Don't ask why. It just happens. I'm going to see if there's a random carton of milk in my fridge and maybe we can make this. I told you, sometimes it just happens. How it gets there, no one will ever know. It's an anomaly. Hmm, it says here to shake well. Oh, this will be easy. Why do you suck? Why do you suck? Why do you suck? Why do you suck? Chai Nook. Chai Nook. Chai Nook. Chai Nook. Chai Nook. My guess is that it's two thirds chai and one third milk. That's what the picture looks like. Why do I have to figure this out on my own? What's with the guessing games? This should be easy! You know, when I first moved into this house, it'd been seven years before I realized I had a slow leak underneath my sink. And on top of that, the shelving underneath my sink, this is an older house, it was made of pure asbestos, it was starting to flake apart. So basically, black mold was starting to set in with all these like little white spots. And when I look at this concoction, it's kind of like a dead ringer for that. 
just sink mold and asbestos combination, I still have nightmares about it. aroma in the air emanating from this drink. If I were to compare it to anything, I'd say it's very close to a pumpkin spice kind of smell, like a very october -y kind of smell. But you know what, I gotta try to keep my expectations really low on this one because I gotta keep in mind that this is mushroom Mushroom juice. 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 Come on! I've got Leland Palmer in here, I've got the Jabberwocky, the Governor, Hottie Scotty Pancake, that weird scientist Hottie Scotty Pancake, Tobias, Trevor, Ron Masautole apparently, DJ Doctor Who, that weird earless monster in the mushroom cloud, it's getting really crowded in there. Before you know it, they're all going to be shoulder and shoulder and they're just hopping up and down because that's all they can do. And they're packed in tighter than sardines, the friction from the moving is shredding them all at the sides. And together they're all bleeding out, bleeding into each other like the human centipede, almost like one giant circulatory system shared between them. I think my brain needs to wear a condom so it can stop birthing demon spawn. Anyway, where was I? Well, I guess there's egg on my face. Because here I was all this time professing that I wanted to try new tastes out there. I feel like there's nowhere left to go for my taste buds. Well, this is uncharted territory, so I guess I got what I wanted. It still sucks. The thing about drinking a tea with so many non-tea ingredients in it is... It's really hard to compare it to anything. I mean, I guess it kind of has a sort of, like, a pumpkin spice kind of taste, along with a strange, like almost a Sambuca licorice-y kind of taste. Yeah, it definitely has that licorice liquor kind of taste. It's not to be confused with liquor licorice, because that's what the monsters in Resident Evil eat. You know, I will give it this. It is different, and it is very, very earthy. Earthy is not a, a word that I use very often on this show, but a lot of times you might be in the mood for earthy. And if you are, this is not a bad thing to drink. I mean, one thing that really concerns me is the milk aspects of it. I'm, I'm sure I'm going to be tooting up a storm after this, but you know what? As I drink this, I don't taste any milk at all. It just tastes like a regular tea. A, a slightly creamy tea, but a tea nonetheless. And it will definitely coat your insides, because if you look at the uh, inside of the cup here, yeah, you see it's rather viscous. It's sticking to the sides of the cup. It was sticking to the sides of the pot after I poured it in, too. But there are benefits to this. I mean, normally when I drink a milk product, I feel all sorts of clogged by it. If I'm drinking milk, I feel bubbles forming in my throat. I feel like it's almost like closing my esophagus on the inside. I mean, I love milk, don't get me wrong, but it just makes me mucusy and just, I feel like a big giant bubble. This, it actually coats your throat almost like that throat coat tea. And I feel like it's a lot easier for me to speak and a lot easier for me to scream afterwards. And yeah, I realize that you can say that about any hot beverage. I mean, hell, boil some hot water and drink that. That'll ease an aching throat, sure. But with this, I mean, yeah, the heat helps, but I think it's, it, with this, it's, there's more than just that. There's something in the ingredients here that puts a tingle in your tongue and kind of like a, a numbing sensation in your throat. It's kind of like taking like a mentholiptus tablet, like a, like Halls or something like that. It's almost something medicinal about this. Like, it's something that they were, you would be required to drink if you had the flu. And like I said, me and dairy products, we do not get along. I have to rely on my fridge, my cow fridge hybrid to produce the milk for me. I don't drink milk products because I find they very constricting. Uh, the second after I eat them, I feel so tight on the inside, like somebody like strapped me to a chair, opened up my mouth, and just one by one is just stuffing like half-filled balloons into my mouth, and then set me out of my way. I'm walking around like, and you hear the, I feel like the balloons like all 
scraping up against each other and squeaking. And for a product like this that is made of one-third milk to have the absolute opposite effect on me, I mean, I'm thinking to the future, I can predict that I'm gonna have a really good bowel movement after this. It's gonna slide right out like concrete. TMI. So if I were to give this a star rating, I'm gonna have to go with three stars. I felt this way about the truffle chips. I felt this way about the charcoal iced tea. That first sip that you take is gonna be a doozy. You're gonna think that you don't like it. You gotta keep drinking it and drinking it, and eventually your body adapts to it. You feel like it's doing you good. You feel like it's cleaning you out. It's a unique feeling that you don't feel with any other tastes. I mean, I guess that's all part and parcel with trying new things, right? And chai spice, when I was a kid, wasn't very common, but now it's becoming popular along with everything else. You've had chai-flavored anything, like chai-flavored soda. I think that holiday spice Pepsi that I'm always yammering on about, that was chai spice. Uh, there's chai spice beers out there. Sam Adams has got a good one. You take that chai spice and you concentrate on it and in your mind, amplify it. That's what this tastes like, almost exactly. And right now the dairy isn't hitting me. I mean, who's to say that it might be a delayed reaction, right? So if it does hit me, I'm not past doing a little a dead dead in a dead a dead dead in them. So here we are. The first show back is in the books. It's nice to have my first product back be so refreshing and different. Makes me excited to see where we're gonna go next. But one place I am not going is the real world. I had my shot. I had the very meaning of a deus ex machina. And I threw it away! What has that ever happened in the history of anything? Only me! But, you know, it's all good. I deserve to be here. For now. Hopefully it's just a temporary setback. I, I lost focus. I'm forgetting the promise that I made. Jello. Jello is top priority. Everything else is secondary. I get him out of the Vortex randomizer, then and only then do I make overtures to get out of here. Hey, if another Deus Ex Machina shows up, what are the chances that I'll blow that one too, right? I mean, one has never been done, but two in a row? That's like rolling double ones in Dungeons and Dragons, double zeros twice in a row in roulette. No human being is that unlucky, right? Right? <laughs> so this is your good buddy, DJ. Squeakies, what episode is this? Ah, no! Was Mocha here? Did you see Mocha? Oh. Oh. Maybe it's not too late. I can still call her! Come on, come on, come on. Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. Oh, Mocha! The number you dialed is not a working number. Please check the number and dial again. That's right. The number you dialed is not a working number. Please check the number and dial again. Ha 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 ha!